Hi, welcome back here. So you see that this is uh, one of the table. Luckily, you don't have to memorize this when you go for examination. They should provide you so that when you're given NMR signals, right, spectrum, you just check, oh, I've got a proton from this region, about 10 ppm. So in the molecule, there should be an aldehyde group. And I have uh, maybe, oh, a 11.6 ppm signal. I think I should have a carboxylic group somewhere. Now, let me just go through here what are the different regions in which your functional group can appear. Starting with TMS at 0 ppm, right, there's a little singular peak. Remove from the alkanes. Alkanes itself is unsaturated, it doesn't have any functional group, so the protons here are the most shielded ones. Now, as we move on, right, where do we go? Okay, we have um, an amine group, there's a nitrogen, electronegative, so it shields, it will pull electrons away from the proton here, it will deshield a little bit, and hence you have this spectra. This zone here with a higher chemical shift than the alkanes. Then moving on, this is the alkyne. Alkyne, you have the pi electron cloud, the current's moving around, right? And just so nice that the proton here is a bit shielded compared to the one in the alkene. So you see there's a shift. And once again, you don't have to memorize it, but it's good to know where to find these kind of protons. And the next piece will be the, the halogens. So you see a broad range for the halogens because in the halogen series coming from the top, your fluorine, chlorine, bromine, then iodine, if you need to go one more down, is acetine. And the electronegativity will decrease down the group, and hence you'll find that the signal very close to the fluorine will be more downfill. If you have an acetine nearby, there'll be more upfill. Then next, you see that there are two parts that says alcohol, right? Alcohol and ROH is hydroxyl group. Now, the pink band here at the bottom refers to the hydroxy proton, the one that connects with the oxygen. And because O is the second most electronegative element in the whole periodic table, that's why the proton is more deshielded, more naked, and hence you have a higher chemical shift. Now, that proton of the alcohol refers to the one that connects to the carbon next to the hydroxy group, okay? We refer to that proton, so be careful not to be confused. Up next, this is a cook, which is an ester. Ester, when you draw this out, it is CO double bond, OC. So that's the proton we refer to. Now, the lone pair on this oxygen can somewhat be donated through the, through the sigma bond here. So although it pulls electrons away, but at the same time, it also donate via, through the bond. And moving on, we see NO2 again with a triple element, no, two element with three atoms here. Keep on pulling it. Pardon me, there's a dative bond here. Okay, it's a bit more deshielded. And next, coming to the aromatic, anything having the benzene ring here is considered aromatic. Right. In this zone, and if you have a benzene ring, you expect to find some signal that's very messy because in the benzene you've got six protons. If you have a single substitution, you've got five, and there's a splitting involved, very messy peaks. That tells you you have aromatic. Amide, next to nitrogen here, not easy to tell. A phenol, right, again, a very broad peak, not that easy to see. But last two, the aldehyde and carboxylic acid, these are very clear because you won't see any overlap between other functional group signals. The aldehyde will be about like 9 to to 10.2 ppm, chemical shift, right? This can't be mistaken for anything else. And as the one for the carboxylic acid, 10 and above. So most of the time you see that in the spectra, right? This part will be cut off because it's quite unlikely you have carboxylic acid or if there is, they will cut this part of the signal and place it somewhere here, which has to be a singlet because there's no coupling in this proton. So now you have learned about this overview of chemical shift and what are the functional groups in different parts of the animal spectra.